so in this leap year so we will be having two categories one is leap year and another is leap century leap century okay so for this particular question which among the following years is a leap year so these are all leap these are all comes under years not century okay so for this particular problem the concept is divide each year with 4 so 2026 divided by 4 4 5 20 0 and it is 26 0 and 4 6 24 the remainder is 2 so this 2026 is not divisible by 4 so 2026 is not a leap year okay now similarly check with 1982 1982 divided with 4 4 4 the 16 and 3 remainder 38 remaining and what 4 9 the 36 2 remaining and remaining to have the right here and 4 5 the 20 again the remainder is 2 so this 1982 is not divisible by 4 so that is why it is also not a leap year now let us consider 2024 2024 divided with 4 4 5 the 20 directly we got 0 and take 0 here and write 24 here and 4 6 the 24 minus the remainder is 0 see here 2024 is divided divisible by 4 then 2024 is a leap year 2024 is the answer okay so this is the first category of the leap year okay now let us move to the second category okay now see this is the second category which among the following years is a leap year see if you observe all the options the last two digits are zero zero means these are all centuries okay <clears throat> for this particular centuries the concept is divide each century with 400 if the remainder is zero so it is a leap century so if you divide with 400 what you will get so this is not gives the remainder zero how 400 5 the 2000 the remainder is 200 okay so it is not equal to it is uh, not equal to zero that is why it is not a leap century now consider 2300 now take 400 again 400 400 5 the 2000 again the remainder is 300 it is not equal to zero so 2300 is not also leap year now consider 2400 2400 divide with 400 400 6 the 2400 so the remainder is zero so 2400 is divisible by 400 so that is why it is a leap century okay this is the answer so the option c is the correct okay now let us go to the practice question which among the following years is a leap year see if you observe the option one the end contains two zeros means it is a century so the concept is 2100 divided with 400 again and 400 pizza it is 2000 so the remainder is 100 so it is not equal to zero so 2100 is not a leap year now let us consider 1974 1974 is not a century it is a normal year that is why we have to divide with only four similarly four for the 16 three remainder seven and four nine the 36 one remainder and write this four here and four three the 12 and remainder is two so it is not equal to zero and 1942 is not a leap year similarly consider this 1900 so this is contains two zeros at the end so this is a century 1900 divided with 400 so again 400 for the 1600 okay now so the remainder is only 300 so it is not equal to zero so therefore 1900 is also not a leap year now consider 1972 it is a normal year not a century okay now 
so 1972 divided with 4 see 4 4 the 16 3 remainder and 7 3 9 the 36 and 1 remainder and 2 12 4 3 the 12 so the remainder is 0 so therefore 1972 is a leap year therefore 1972 is a leap year the answer is option d okay i hope you got the concept clearly now let us so do this question and comment the answer in the comment box what is an odd day a week contains only seven days but if a week contains more than seven days then that extra days are called odd days so to understand clearly about this odd days let us solve these question so you will get clarity about odd days see how many odd days are in period of 10 days see in a 10 days how many odd days are there so we have to divide these 10 with 7 because one week per week 7 days okay that is why so 7 ones are 7 the remainder is 3 see one week contains 7 days and remaining extra days are 3 days so these remainder 3 days is the answer so answer is c so 3 odd days are there in a period of 10 days okay now so i hope you clear about odd days now let us solve some more questions to get clarity about this odd day concept see how many odd days are present in an ordinary year see ordinary year means like except leap year remaining all years are ordinary year see in ordinary year ordinary year contains 365 days so how many odd days are present in this 365 days simple concept 365 divided with 7 same okay 7 52 is a 364 so the remainder is 1 so if you observe this 365 days contains means one ordinary year contains 52 weeks and one odd day so the answer is a so an ordinary year contains how many odd days only one odd day now coming to leap year how many odd days are present in a leap year so leap year contains how many days nana see leap year so manak leap year lo 366 days untai means leap year contains 366 days so same concept 366 divided by 7 okay so 7 same 752 is a 364 and the remainder is 2 same a leap year contains 52 weeks, 2 odd days, 2 odd days. So the option is B, right answer. So leap year contains how many odd days? 2 odd days. So e 2 points are good to bit. Kondi. So have to remember these 2 points. Ordinary year contains 1 odd day, leap year contains 2 odd days. Okay. So now let us solve some more questions, different types of questions in the examination. Okay. How many odd days are there in 100 years? So this seems to be somewhat difficult, but it's very easy. See, before going to solve this question, so I will give some one concept, important concept. See, every 100 years or in every 100 years, there are 24 leap years. 24 leap years. Okay. So in this 100 years, how many leap years are there? 24. So in this 100 years, 24 leap years are there. 24 leap years and 76 ordinary years. See, as you know that one leap year contains two odd days. One ordinary year contains one odd day. Okay, see, one leap year contains two odd days. So what about 24 leap years? 24 into 2 is nothing but 48 odd days sorry 48 odd days okay now 76 ordinary years contains how many odd days 76 into one odd day equal to 76 odd days so now we have to add these two 48 plus 76 14 1 carry and 11 124 okay so to do 124 again we have to divide with 7 7 ones are 7 and remaining 5 54 and 7 7 the 49 and the remainder is 5 so 
So how many hot days are there in a, in 100 years? Five. Option D is the right answer. I hope you cleared and understood. Now, let us solve the same, uh, let us apply the same method for 48 years here. Same. So 48 years. 48 years contains how many leap years? How many leap years? Simple concept. Divide 48 with, so every four years, one leap year will come. So divide with four. Four ones are, four twos are. Okay. So 48 years contains 12 leap years. Okay. See, 12 leap years means how many ordinary years? Minus 12. So 8 minus 2, 6. 4 minus 1, 3. 36 ordinary years. 36 ordinary years. Now, 36 ordinary years contains 36 odd days. Because one, order, one ordinary year contains one odd day. And 36 ordinary years contains 36 odd days. Now, 12 leap years contains 12 into 2. Nothing but 24 odd days. Means 1 leap year contains 2 odd days. So, 12 leap years contains 12 into 2, 24. Now, what are they? 36 plus 24. How much? 50. Uh, 60, sorry. 60. So, now divide with 7 again. Uh, what is the answer? 7 nines are 50, uh, 6. So, sorry. 7 eights are 56. So, remainder is 4. So, the answer is 4. So, 4 odd days are present in 48 years. Now, so this is the, it seems is very lengthy method. So, in the next session, I will discuss the shortcut method. So, don't pause the video. So, don't skip it. So, watch full video. See, shortcut method. See, in the question, if years are less than 100, less than 100 years means 1 to 99 then the shortcut will be applicable directly number of odd days is equal to x plus x by 4 this is the shortcut method so this x is nothing but given years in question so for example previous question is this we have to take previous question so how many odd days are there in 48 years? How many odd days in 48 years? See this 48 is less than 100. Less than 100. So simply substitute at the place of x here. 48 plus 48 by 4. 48 plus it's uh, 48 by 4 is 12. So 48 plus 12 how much? Um, 60. So again, divide 60 with 7. 7 is 56, 4 remainder. So, 4 odd days are present in 48 years. I hope you are clear with this shortcut method and the previous method is also important to understand the concept. So, now I will give one homework question. Please comment it. So, please comment this option in comment box. I, I need your support. Like the video. And like, share, subscribe to Ajay Tips 0806. Thank you.